Hi guys, Phil Short here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. So today, guys, I'm really excited to present to you the absolutely incredible G3 by the Gig Rig. This is an absolutely game-changing bit of gear and is a huge step up from the G2. So I'm really excited to show you this. We've still got all of the same features that the G2 offered us. Most importantly, we have a really clean, dry through signal that does not color the sound at all. So everything sounds really crisp, really clear. There's no unwanted compression or kind of weird artifacts happening to your sound. So it does genuinely feel like you're just plugging straight into your amp. We've still got all of the things like spillover function with the trails. We've still got MIDI functionality. We've still got things like the stomp box mode. All the things that we loved about G2 are still there, but with much more flexibility power and control. It's also much faster and easier to program as well, which is really, really incredible. Let's go through the things that are an upgrade and an improvement on the G3. You'll notice now that we have 12 loops instead of 10. We also can put any of those loops into stereo mode as well. So we could have six stereo pedals or you could have 12 mono pedals. So you've got complete flexibility as to how you want to use the loop. We've still got the two stereo outputs as well, one side isolated and also phase reversible as well so that everything is singing as it should be. And uh, the other really cool thing about this that's also upgraded is we have two internal mixers or matrixes. So this now allows us to do things that was previously only available really in digital modelers. We can do things like parallel and we can do things like wet dry without needing to rewire the board as well. So we've got a huge amount of flexibility. We've still got the ability to have multiple banks, but now we've got an incredible 99 banks, which is absolutely phenomenal. So we've got 99 banks of presets, and we've also actually got 28 presets per bank. So we've got a ton of options available to us, which is absolutely incredible. So on the G2, we had the hidden preset, but the hidden preset on the G2 is one global hidden preset. And you can only choose one sound for that. But now we can have a bonus preset for every single switch in each bank, which is just amazing. Other things that are really amazing, we now have complete control of all of the MIDI commands. So for the first time now on the GigRig products, as well as patch change, we also can send command changes as well. So as well as changing patches, things like your Big Sky, your Timeline, your Mobius, you can also, from the G3, control any of the parameters within the pedals themselves. Not only that, but there are also two expression pedal sockets. So that means that we can also use and send command changes using multiple expression pedals. So you've got much, like ultimate flexibility, basically, in using all of your MIDI gear, which is absolutely just phenomenal that you can do that. The other thing that is absolutely mind-blowing is with this switcher, we can now actually change the order of our set lists. So no longer are we maybe cycling up and down through different banks if we change the order of songs. We can now actually, with the app, which I'd recommend you check out the Gig Rigs channel to see, you can actually change the order of your bank. Now, you can also limit the order of those banks as well. So say you actually only have 20 songs in your set, rather than having 99 banks, you can just limit it to 20 banks so that when you get to song number 20, it just rolls back around to song number one again. So you're not having to constantly cycle up and down. You can just go around in a circle, which is really, really great that you've got that controllability. Now, the really cool thing that we can do is we can actually copy and paste individual presets to other presets, and we can copy and paste entire banks as well. So a really cool thing, you could set up bank number one as like your master setup with all of your bass core sounds that you use, triggering your particular favorite MIDI presets that you use on your pedals. And let's say you had another gig where you just wanted to make a few changes. Rather than creating a new bank and having to go through all that again, you can just copy and paste the entire thing and then you can make small tweaks from there. So the flexibility and the tweakability is absolutely incredible. So that's a really, really amazing feature. The other really useful feature that we can do is we can also just copy and paste an entire preset, but we can also just copy and paste particular elements of that preset. So you might have a preset that has a specific uh, MIDI command to a certain pedal, and you think, actually, I would just like to be able to access that particular 
bit of MIDI information in a stomp box feature on another preset. So you can just copy and paste the MIDI command onto that particular preset and then you're good to go. So I'll show you guys how you can set all of these things up, but absolutely incredible. Let's get into some of the functionality.